Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for the NV2 high chair with the play table conversion. Before we get started, make sure you look at all the pieces included. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as shown at the end of the instructional video. So let's get started. For step one, you need part B, the seat assembly with the pad and five point harness. So for this step, what you're gonna to wanna to do first is we're gonna take the part B and flip it upside down so you're seeing the bottom of the assembly. You're gonna to wanna to take the seat back and take the seat pad and fold it over around the top of the seat. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna secure the belt around the back of the seat. So you're gonna have it come across you're gonna insert this belt loop over the top into that top hole here. Then you're gonna secure the hook and loop tape so that the belt is secured around this top piece. Next, you're gonna look at the seat bottom where you're gonna see this pin going through. You're gonna to wanna to pull the pin out completely. You're gonna align the seat back with the seat bottom and you're gonna reinsert that pin making sure it goes through both the bottom and the back. So it should go all the way through until it's fully inserted all the way down. And then push it until it cannot go any further so that it's fully attached. For step two, you need part E, the chair left side, part F, the chair right side, two of part C, which are the chair rails, you need 12 of part M, the bolts, and part A, the assembly tool. So for this step, what we're gonna be doing is attaching the right side to the seat. Now the right side of the chair, when you're looking at it, you're gonna see one side that has the three holes here. This is where you're gonna want the seat coming off of. It also has a more of a square-like peg hole here in comparison to the other side. So you make sure you're on the right side when you're attaching the seat. So I'm gonna lay this down with this side facing upward. And then also remember this is the piece going to the front. So when we're putting on the chair, what you're gonna wanna do is take the two pegs that are sticking out here and insert them into those two square holes that we were talking about. So you're gonna align them up and then making sure again that this piece is going forward. When you look at the back, you're gonna see these three holes that this peg needs to go into on each side. So we're gonna align the back of the seat back until it pops into one of those holes. So then what we're gonna do, now that the seat's in place, we're gonna put the two chair rails into place. Now the two chair rails, when you look at them, they're labeled on the inside here, either C1 or C2. Now when you look at the right side, one of the sides says C1 or C2. So it doesn't matter which side you put this on, just make sure that if it says C1, it goes on the side that says C1 so that they match. So we're just gonna put that in like that. Same thing on this side. So since I put in C1, now I'm gonna put in C2 onto the side that says C2. And then last but not least, I'm gonna now put on the other side, essentially mimicking the other, th um, same thing I did on the first side. So putting in the chair rails into those two holes. The two seat holes are gonna go right into these. Putting in the chair rails here. And lastly, making sure that pin falls into one of those three holes. So I'm gonna look underneath here and it looks like we are good. So once we have everything securely put into place, we're gonna start by putting in these bolts. So we're going to screw them in. And then we're gonna use our assembly tool that's provided and you're gonna tighten them all into place. So you're gonna have six on this side that you'll need to do. And then we're gonna flip it over and do the exact same six on the other side so that we can get all 12 put into place. For step three, you need part J, the table top, part G, the table rail, part H, the table left side, part I, the table right side, 
8 of part M, which are the bolts, and part A, the assembly tool. So for this step, what we're going to be doing is putting the table top onto the table legs. When looking at the table legs, we're going to look at the right side here first. A couple things to note are these two holes that are up towards the top. This is where the table is going to be inserting. Now whenever looking at these spots, you're going to see they're labeled as D1 through D4. That's going to correspond to the underside of the table, which is respectively labeled. So make sure that you have all of the correct labels matching with their corresponding holes that they need to go into. Also, on this side here where the table rail is going to be going, it also has two different shapes. You've got the circle and the hexagon. When putting in the table rail, these inserts that are going to go into them are also shaped. You either have the circle or the hexagon. So when you're putting this into place, make sure that you align these appropriately. So first what I'm going to do, when looking at the right side, we have it labeled D3 and D4. So looking at the table top, I'm going to find my D3 and D4 and make sure that they match so that when you're looking at them, D4, D4, and D3, D3. We're going to put that into place. And then again, with that rail that we're going to put in here, making sure that the hexagon shape goes into the hexagon hole. I'm going to put it where, where it's labeled B is to the inside so you don't see it. So the hexagon is going to match up and the holes and the circle is going to match up there. So then what we're going to be doing is putting on the other side. We're going to align all the same spaces here. We'll place it right on top. And then lastly, we're going to put in all of the four bolts, the four bolts on this side and four bolts on the other side to hold this all into place. Now to securely attach the chair to the table, what you're going to want to do first is put on the front feet. When looking at the front feet, on the very bottom, you're going to see the R and the L corresponding to the right and the left side. When you look at the front, on the bottom, on the inside here, it's going to be labeled with that same R and that L. So this one here is labeled R, and this side right here is labeled R. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this onto the front foot, making sure that these little plastic bars go into each of these holes. So you're going to slide it on gently and firmly until you make sure that they get all the way in and you're going to hear it click into place on both sides. So you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side until you hear both of them snap into place. The next step in putting your chair on top of the table is making sure that all four of these table caps are removed. I've already removed three, but to show you how to do the last one, what you're going to want to use is a flathead screwdriver and you're going to get under the tab on both sides of the cap. So you're going to get under it, pop it up so that all four are removed. Next what you're going to do is you're going to put the chair on top. And you're going to want to make sure that you have this green rail and this cup holder to the back side of the high chair. So we're going to put this on top, align all four of the table legs and the chair legs together. Now there's these buttons located on the inside that you can push in to help lower the chair down to place. Now you should hear it click when it goes all the way down to make sure it's securely held into place. And then what you're going to want to do is gently but firmly tug on all the legs to make sure that none of them come out so they're all securely held down. For step five, you need part N, the main tray, part O, the insert tray, and part K, the T-bar. So what you need to do first for this step is put the T-bar on the main tray. When looking at the main tray, we're going to turn it upside down so that you see the bottom where you're going to see a half moon shape. This is where the T-bar is going to slide into. So you want to get it under that ledge piece and it's going to get to a point where it gets tight. Make sure you gently but firmly push it in all the way until it clicks. Once it clicks into place, it is securely in. 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to take these latches on both sides. We're going to put it up to the high chair, align it with the two arms. You're going to pull up on both latches and slide it to the spot that you want it until it clicks into place. Now you can re-hold the latches, adjust it where you want, release the latches, and then gently tug to make sure that it's firmly put into place. So I'm going to put it back a little further here until it's gently and firmly held into place. Last what you can do is put the removable tray on the top here. This comes off so it can be washed and cleaned a little bit better and then re-put back on for your use. And then it will click into place so that you know it's held. Lastly, when looking at the back of the high chair, you're going to see a white lever here. If you hold up on the lever, you can adjust the back of the seat. When you release the lever, it's going to click into place where it should hold securely. Step six of the instruction manual shows you how to break down the high chair back into the table and the chair. So what you're going to do is all the steps that we already did but in reverse. First you're going to start by taking the two latches on both sides and removing the tray altogether. Then what you're going to do is on each of the chair legs you're going to push in the buttons on all four sides, remove the chair, and then you're going to replace the table caps on all four corners. This is going to create your chair and table separately so you can enjoy. And that concludes the assembly for the NV2 high chair with the play table conversion. Remember, if you have any questions or concerns, to please contact Badger Basket as shown in the next clip. Badger Basket thanks you for watching and enjoy.